Myocardial infarction is better known as heart attack. It's a very abrupt blockage of the heart vessel that supplies the blood to the heart. And when the circulation is cut off, the heart muscle will begin to die within minutes and hours. The problem with the heart is that the heart cannot regenerate itself. So once the muscle begins to die, the dead myocardium will be replaced by fibrotic tissue that leaves a big scar in the heart. The scar will stay there and will make the rest of the myocardium sick. There is really no therapy or treatment that will elevate the myocardial infarction. One of the ways to have a chance to regenerate the heart is to reintroduce my or your cardiac muscle cells back into my heart. And stem cells come into the play here. Stem cells are origin cells, so these are the cells that can give rise to heart cells, hair cells, skin cells, eye cells. In the lab, what we pursue is to understand the mechanism of how stem cells arrive at cardiomyocytes and what kind of uh, growth factors we can add or subtract so that we get the heart muscle cells that we want to replace the damaged myocardium. We're at the point where we can reasonably specify which road the stem cells will take to become either atrial heart muscle cells or ventricular heart muscle cells. And in our latest discovery, we found a way to make these stem cells to become left or right ventricular muscle cells. This discovery has some way to go before it gets into patient's heart, but it does have shorter time frame for impact when we think about using these ventricular specific, atrial specific, or pacemaker specific cardiomyocytes as a drug screen or disease model. So the ramification of this discovery is that we can develop better drugs for clinical practice.